So this paradigm of scarcity, this frame of scarcity, is a way of looking at the world, a way of acting in the world. And scarcity comes from the fact that there's not enough for everybody, but it also comes from the fact that our consumption is symbolic and it comes from the fact that our desire is mimetic. We're competing with other people and that increases the sense that we don't have enough. Scarcity in itself is just an imbalance between what you need, which is very large, and what you have, which is much smaller. But there is a deep emotional sense of a scarcity which goes beyond symbolic consumption and which goes beyond the mathematical equation of inequality. It's the deep sense that there isn't enough. The deep sense that however much you have, however many things you own, it will never be enough. It will never be enough for you and it will never be enough for our global world. This sense of scarcity, this scarcity emotion, this scarcity mindset is a way of being in the world. And it's a way that is quite common. It's a way that is quite powerful. And it's also a way that is deeply sad. It's deeply sad to have this sense of scarcity, to have the feeling that whatever you do, whatever we do community, there will never be enough. There isn't enough now and there will never be enough. What a sad way to look at the world.